Oh, look, come on, it's only for a couple of hours. It's not like you've got to do anything. Killing, did you see me? Cause I was right. What do you do for a living? Back to I can't believe you told her you were gay. Look, I had to. It was the only thing I could think of to get her and win her trust. Well, what happens when she finds Look, out? Don't worry, so far it's been fine. The past two weeks have been brilliant. Brilliant? Yeah. We've seen each other every day. We've become really close, you know. I'm sure. Look, the point needs. The reason that I called you is that I need a favour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, quite a big favour, actually. Uh huh. Look, we were having a couple of drinks yesterday. Several, in fact. Look, we got really drunk. The long and the short of it is that she thinks I've got, you know, no, a boyfriend, and that she wants to come round for dinner tonight and meet him. Oh, no way, miss. And then someone asked for a song, and my uncle Harold said to me, "Mum, give us a song, Elsie. Give us a song." And she got up and she was really overcome because of the warmth of the pub. And then the drummer gave her the hand mic, still forgetting about the dwarf microphone which was beneath her. And she was really, uh, moved. Moved. And in the silence there was this sound, this noise coming out of the loudspeaker because the dwarf microphone was still switched on. The microphone picked up the sound of your mum passing water into a plastic bag. Everyone could hear it through the loudspeaker and some people, some of the people, they, they laughed. Laughed. That night, my mum got out of bed and went to the bathroom and drank a pint of bleach, which killed her. This November, the men of Bravo are teaming up with Movember to fight prostate cancer. And we need your help. the place all right then. Bloody hell right, I was travelling down the high road this morning and this stupid bloke in front of me slams on his brakes. I almost going to the back of him. So I'm sat there waiting and I'm starting to get really pissed off and then he moves on. So I drive on and then the stupid tosser only reverses back towards me. So I beep on my own and say, Oi, what the hell do you think you're doing? And he's like, why are you beeping your own at me? And I'm like, pricks like you shouldn't be on the road if you don't know what you're doing. And he's like, giving it all pricks? Why are you calling me a prick? And I'm like, because you are a fucking prick. Unbelievable, right? So what was it you said you did for a living? Oh, oh driving instructor. <laughs> the hint is character. Six, Six words. Knees. Short. 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 I'm an actress. An actress, eh? So I take it you've worked. I was in a musical. Which one? Cats. That's funny, because I'm allergic to cats. Not the musical, I mean real cats. Of course, you're not a real cat, are you? You just dress up as one. No, I'm not a real cat. Dr. Right. Mani, Dr. Mani, please right, yeah. contact the X-ray department as soon as possible, please. I've always fancied being an actor. All those red carpets, fancy premieres. Mind you, I suppose you have to do a bit of sleeping around, don't you? <laughs> Casting couch and all that. Must be a bit creepy having some bloke's hand up your skirt. Just Fuck off! <laughs> no way. Look, come on, it's only for a couple of hours. It's not like you've got to do anything. Just be sensitive, talk about, oh, look, throw the occasional wink in my direction. I'll think about it. Cool.